Hello my peoples. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a sideways tsunami harpy hover on a budget with a gas gen. So first, lightweight two by four. Two of them in a row like this, then a one by eight over here. Then you get a one by eight connected here on the other lightweight one by eight. Then you get a one by six connected on that one by eight. Then you get another one by six here. And repeat on the other side. Next, you get a two by six here with six blocks between them and then one block spacing right here. But you don't place any frames there. Then you place a one by four frame. Again, spaced one block away and it is like this. Next, you're going to want to place Icarus 7 or 4 on this frame here, on the edge on this frame so it's flush, and also you're going to want to place another one on the same frame, more inwards by one block, and then same with that. Next, you want to repeat that on the other side so you have 7 hovers. Then you want to place your harpy cabin so the welding points look like this. Then expanded ammo pack. It can be fused or unfused. I use unfused because I am poor. Then you place your gas gen because this is a budget and lightweight hover. Place a Maxwell or Doppler. You need to make a bit of extra weight. And you need to have a bit of extra weight for the Doppler. And you place a Colossus in the back. And then you place your cloak right over here. And then you place one of your tsunamis with yeah, with three welding points on the ammo box and one on the heartbeat cabin. Theoretically you could just not have the ammo box, but still you need it kind of. Then you place the other tsunami besides it and now you have the base of the hover now it's time for the rest of the stuff and also you do need an array for extra tonnage and now we have around 1800 mass left now we're gonna want to place a gun mount on this frame as well as a radiator grill over here and then a small buggy floor next we're going to want to place a power slide here. You can use other parts, but I suggest using a power slide after you've prestiged a bit in Lunatics. And then you get a fryer and small buggy force connected to the 1x6 frames. Then you get a scorched connected to this frame. Then you get a buggy floor. This is based a bit on maple's design because i was too lazy but i switched it over quite a bit with a few different parts so yeah i want to make sure this has three mounting points there then you put a gun mount on that buggy trunk and then you put a fryer <sighs> Next, you're going to want to place a radiator grill on top of that fryer connected to the buggy trunk. And then a downstream over here connected to a minivan panel. This is to protect the guns a tiny bit while also providing support for a tiny bit more armor. Then you place a scorched on this frame. It's a bit finicky. Well, yeah. Then you place a fryer on this frame. Now there isn't too much armor here, so like, it is quite easy to lose that, but you're going to be fine without that frame and without those two hovers because you got five more. Then you're going to want to place a buggy engine cover here and an RD1 listener on this. This is a bit of a flimsy setup for the radar and rear armor, but... It works pretty well if you just don't 
show your rear of the build to any enemies because that is the most vulnerable part in most cannon hovers. Next, you're going to want to repeat the side armor. Then you're just about done. Next, I'm going to repaint this. Yeah, I, I just go through my build in a line. That's how I paint. And just put a few stickers on. I like to put some of these on my gun barrels. Just cause it gives them a little bit of a color. And then of course, gotta get that shoujo right over here. Boom. Then you want to get a little circular one. Actually, no, never mind. I think this is for from a pack that I got ages ago. Hmm. Um, that's not a two. That's a three. Anyways, yeah. Here we got a decently quick sideways hover. It'd be much quicker if you fuse your harpy for power, unless I already fused mine for power. Minus fuse for, for power. But yeah. I always miss that. Um, so yeah, place your guns on your preferred keybinds and just have a good time with a kind of try hard, kind of Clan Wars ready hover. There could be a bit more armor in the middle, but I was lazy and didn't want to do that. But still. Definitely suggest making like, like making this build and then tweaking it a bit because this is definitely not completely optimized for Clan Wars because I've played it like twice in Clan Wars and it worked pretty well, although it is very flimsy. So yeah. Hope you enjoy.